music production. There are no golden rules in production. Fixed action patterns or techniques work for every type of music. For example, you will use a different sidechain in future bass music and a different one in bass house. You will use different plugins for equalizing in one track and others in another. There are also no perfect guidelines for mixing every sound. Each sound, vocal, or instrument is different from each other. Each combination of two or more instruments will require different correction in mixing or compression. There is also no golden theory regarding creating melodies or progressions. However, there are techniques that can help us understand the whole process and what it entails. To better understand the application of plugins and choose the right ones for us. Nothing will help you more than understanding the processes and not using the right presets. The key to all of this is practice. What good are thousands of hours spent on theory if you can't apply it in practice? The key to understanding is also the method of trial and error. Some can draw conclusions faster, others slower, or not at all. In my opinion, practice is the answer here. Thousands of hours spent on production will help you train your ear. It will also allow you to hear more. Think about it. Look at your projects you made a year ago or two years ago. Back then you thought those productions were really good. Indeed, some of them may have been. But look at them from a time perspective. Compare projects you are working on now to projects from a few years ago. Do you feel the difference? Do you understand what I'm trying to convey? See how much you've managed to develop your hearing. Earlier, you didn't hear as much as you hear now, and in the future, you will hear something you can't hear now. Development. Imagine the amplitude. Life revolves around it. It has applications in every aspect, in nature, in everyday life. Sometimes there's a storm. Sometimes there's sunshine. Sometimes there's euphoria. Sometimes there's sadness. The same goes for music production. One day we can create something better. The next day we feel like we can't do anything. There are better days for production and worse ones. It will never be a steady march forward. It's a string of successes and failures. But remember that from day to day, you are becoming better and often we ourselves don't see how much we have already achieved. Ask yourself where you were two or five years ago and where you are currently. Make a list of your successes, then you will see that from year to year you are getting closer to achieving your goal, you have more knowledge, or you're getting better at it. Try not to compare yourself to anyone. It's known that often people who are where we would like to be motivate us. But remember, you don't know the path they've taken to get where they are. How many thousands of hours they needed to get where they are. None of us is born at the top right away. It all depends on us. How much time are we willing to devote to our passions or what strategy do we have for it all? Sometimes it may also be that we have a problem not related to the skills we already have but with a lack of, for example, self-confidence or communication. Life is like a wall you bounce off until you draw the right conclusions. Think about it. Maybe you're actually making the same mistakes all the time because you lack a different perspective. Or maybe it's enough to go a slightly different path but aiming for the same point. Frustration. Everyone goes through that moment when they ask themselves if they will ever succeed, if they are cut out for it. There are no exceptions. The solution to this problem is that you must learn to accept it, you must learn to deal with it. Don't try to force anything. There is a day when you open the fifth project already and nothing is moving forward. With each subsequent project your frustration grows. Then the best solution is to leave it. Do something else on that day, relax. Sit comfortably in the chair, go to the cinema, or spend time with friends. Your body is signaling to you that it needs rest. It needs relaxation or regeneration. It's like with the gym. You can't do one workout for a whole month day after day. You need to give time for regeneration so that you can develop in a few days. Mindset Mindset is crucial in music in my opinion. It's the whole atmosphere, all the emotions in us that we accumulate every day that are reflected in our music. When you're sad, 
you won't be able to make cheerful songs and vice versa. Try to take care of your attitude. Try not to demand from every project that it will be a hit. Treat music more as a passion than a must. Nothing by force. Go back in your mind to when music gave you the most pleasure. Try to find out why it gave you more pleasure then than now. Before starting a project, take care of the whole environment, clean up the room or studio if you have one. Light a candle or ventilate the room well. Oxygenate your brain with a walk before. I mean, take care of your comfort during production. Put away your phone so it doesn't distract you, reduce hunger or thirst, make yourself a coffee or tea, and only then sit down with a clear mind and without any demands just spend a good time. I guarantee you that the results will be completely different. There are many more things I want to address because it's a very complex topic, so I'll divide them into several episodes. I hope you like this material. Let me know in the comments if you want more content like this and subscribe to stay up to date.